Hi, in this video I'm going to uh, do some encryption, but this, instead of using like the dictionary, which is what I used in the last tutorial, I'm actually going to use um, ASCII values. Now, um, ASCII values, basically the numbers 0 to 128 are used to represent different characters. Um, so if you look down this table, let's look for 65. 65 over here, uh, this is an image, 65 over here represents a capital A. 97 represents a lowercase a. So I'm going to use these character values um, and um, there's a couple of tools in Python that will allow me to do this quite nicely. The first one is ORD. ORD returns, when I pass in a string, or a, a specifically a character, it returns the ASCII value. So in this case A is 65. Uh, a low, Well that was an uppercase A. Uh, a lowercase A would return 97, like we saw from that table. Char returns um, the letter based on the value so 66 should be a capital B uh, and 98 should be a capital uh, sorry a lowercase b so uh, 60 no 98 okay so I'm going to use these tools to help me do some encryption uh, I don't have to write out a complicated dictionary again um, so let's see how this works again uh, like with the last one I'm going to get an input from the user so we're going to add input, enter a message to encrypt. And we'll let the user type in a message. Um, and I'm going to force it to be an upper, in uppercase uh, for this because it will make it easier to program. And like the other one, I'm going to have an empty string. And this time I'm going to call it encrypted. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Uh, so... Once again, I'm going to loop through each letter in the message, so I'm going to have a for loop. So for letter in message, um, um, there's a few things I want to do here. So the first thing I want to do is check to see if there's a space, because I'm not going to worry about shifting spaces. I'm just going to worry about the um, the actual characters themselves. So I'm, first, I'm going to check to see if letter is equal to a space. Uh, so if it is a space, then I'm just going to in uh, append that space to encrypted so encrypted plus equals a space if it's not a space I want to do another check so the check is going to be um, well, if it's not a check we'll come back to that check in a second if it's not a, a space then I'm going to just shift the characters so encrypted plus equals um, the char because I have to you have to use a combination of the two, the ORD of letter, and I'm going to shift them by five, like so, um, and let's see what happens here, print encrypted, okay, so we'll run this, so enter the message to encrypt, let's say hello world, oops, okay, so the H has shifted by 5 to an M, and that's all looking good. But I've got a weird symbol here. The space was put in, but I've got a weird symbol here. And that's because the W shifted by 5. If we go back to our ASCII table, if we look for the capital W, if we shift by 5, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. And we're left with this um, backslash. So we don't want that. If we go beyond Z, we want it to knit back to A and carry on counting. So... To do that, we need to modify our code very slightly. I'm going to chuck in an elif statement here, and I'm going to check to see if the char, uh, if the ord of letter plus five is actually greater than the um, the ord of a capital Z. Okay, I could I could instead of typing that in. Uh, use the ASCII value for capital Z, which would be 90. So I could do do that, uh, but I think it's nicer to check the order of Z. Um, so if it is greater than Z, then what we need to do mathematically, all we have to do is re re allow it to go beyond Z and then minus 60, uh, 26, because there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So we do char ord letter plus 5, and then we're going to minus 26 to go back. So that should work. Let's try it out. So, hello world. And this time, W becomes a B. So 
everything else is fine because it didn't go beyond said but the this um the world was a, a backslash and now it's a b so let's just take a look at why that's happened so if we start on w and add five one two three goes to z and then we're minusing 20 well, uh, we carry on to the backslash but if we minus 26 you go one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. We've minus 26 and we've landed on B, and that's why it shows B here. So if you were to decrypt the message, the uh, it's just working the opposite way. Instead of adding 5, you minus 5, and if you go bef uh, in front of A, then you just have to add 26 instead of minusing. Um, so give it a go, it's that simple.